Well, the hooves of Troy has come through to win. Wendy Whitehead and all the connections who have been loyal and patient uh, with the son of Versant Getrix and the Hartley as he essay bred him. They are being rewarded in a big way now. And so is this gentleman on my right, Ayanda. He had to wait for a long, long time for this thousand rand. And you may have been wondering, when am I going to get my thousand rand with my horse? Well, the horse is now giving you 2,000 rand, Ayanda, in two months. So he's done you well and you've done him well. Well done, Ayanda. Congratulations. 1,000 rand, Hollywood Bets and Gold Circle. Congratulations to Ayanda. I must pay compliments to Keegan here. Yep, uh, we know how well he's riding, but uh, you got a horse that was given a, a, quite a hefty penalty for winning last time out and a horse that hasn't won for some time. But you decided, uh, I'm going to take a chance again on him and uh, maybe he can reward me again. Yeah, look, uh, I was a little bit stuck in uh, scratching his day. I had a choice between two horses and... Uh, Which was the other horse? The second horse. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I was actually supposed to ride the second horse last week where I thought he would have won. But uh, yeah, back to this horse, you know. Um, I stuck my head out and I said, you know, we'd rather stick with the horse that, that he's, he's gained his confidence after his last run. And yes, he did get the penalty, but uh, I thought he had a lot of things in his favour today. And uh, yeah, just well done to Wendy and her team. Uh, superb training feat. And uh, yeah, I'm going to pledge my riding allowance to the groom. Um, he did a lot of work back there and uh, obviously watering him and stuff. So my riding fee will go towards him. That's uh, something different. Uh, the first time that I've heard that on air, so that's uh, big on your part. Well done with that. W what happened at the back? Look, um, he's a horse that gets some. Um, he, he suffers with the heat, and uh, like Wendy will probably tell you, he got washed down probably about 15 times this time and the last time he won. So, you know, it's those little things that make a difference, and uh, if you can make their life better, um, you see the, the the results on the course. Fantastic. Two more races left. Can you help us? Look, I thought. Um, Maximus, um, I, I, th I think it's quite a competitive field. Um, I thought this horse was probably my best um, today, so I'm glad he's out the way and uh, the heat uh, didn't get a little bit hotter. So I'm just very pleased this one's over. And uh, yeah, I thought Maximus has got a small chance, but it is a very competitive field. I thought the whole card today was pretty hard. Just for the, the racing public out there, Princess Joe, you want to give some feedback? Yeah, I just thought it was a very um, flat run. You know, obviously she's... she's um, Missed a couple of workouts in between her last run, and uh, you know some horses just hit flat spots with um, without consistent work. And uh, she's still a, a big filly who who still has to grow up. So yeah, she'll be back. Um, hopefully, um, put this run behind her, and uh, you'll see the better version of her next time. Well, big of you. It's the little things that make the big difference in life, and I'm sure Ayanda appreciates it. Well done on that one. Yeah, thank you very much. I don't think he knows yet, so I'm sure Wendy will give him the good news afterwards. But uh, yeah, the little things that helps. Just well done to Mr. Dickinson. Uh, well done to um, Mr. Gibson and all these other partners. Thank you very much for the opportunities. Well done to Wendy and her team. Great, great training feat. Nice one. And to my sponsors, Winnie Form, thank you very much. Great kiss uh, from uh, Keegan. And uh, you're going to tell us a bit more about you know the happenings, which we're not privy to, getting a horse into the parade ring before even the races. What can go wrong? What needs to be done? And this horse gave you a bit of a headache. You know, Dees, he's had heat fatigue three times. And as you know, today, the, the weather is extremely hot. The humidity today is out of this world. And Ayanda uh, brought him to the races at Scottsville last time and when he won. And I just said to him, look after him, just wash him, get, you know, just keep him hydrated as much as possible. Obviously, he's not allowed to have water because they can't have water and run it to their best ability. But we hydrated him with wash, washing him down, washing his mouth out all the time. And uh, he came here today, he did the same thing. He told me he's washed him 15 times. Every time I went to the back today, he was washing him. I just want to say a big ups to them. You know, you've, you, we've all got teams behind us, and if mm. we don't have those people looking after these horses and giving them special care, especially a horse like him, um, you don't get the results. So I just want to say very well done to Ayanda for looking after him so good. Well done to Patrick. Well done to Jan Skoltz, Peter Gibson, um, Dave Schertz, and uh, Tony Dickinson. Unfortunately, he couldn't get here today. But um, thanks for all your patience, and now this horse is really reaping the wards. And top, top, top ride from Keegan. I said to him, don't forget, he gets a bit of heat fatigue. He had water waiting for him at the start, so it's a team effort. It's fantastic. Thank you. You know, they say that the winning formula in the Formula One is the pit lane. And, and for a golfer, it's his caddy. <laughs> so, I mean, Ayanda, wow. It's my team. It's the stars. Thank I, you. I was lost for a word to describe him when he was walking around, and I said he looks like a bodybuilder because he gives me that impression, this horse. You know, um, 
he, he's a big horse and I always think to myself, gosh, he's so fat. But you must remember, <laughs> yeah. these old horses, they carry condition and they can race week after week and they absolutely love it. He's as fit as a fiddle, he doesn't do much work in between and he loves life. Well, it's, it's amazing, you know, you had to wait so long yourself, the team, the connections and he's rewarded you back to back. I must pay compliments to you, Wendy. Thank and you. you speak about the weather which is hot, well, none hotter than... <laughs> Wendy Whitehead. Well done, you, Wendy. Thank you so much. <laughs> well done to Wendy. Yeah, her stable's in good form. Her horses are looking well and they're running accordingly. And that is a wrap of race number six. Two more to go at Hollywood Bets Gravel.